The Information Portlet is a great tool to use in the Operations Center dashboard to view summarized information and data about an object in your network or any of your services. It gives you quick access to element properties, root cause and impacted information, alarms, performance charts, jobs, and custom layout drawings. In this video, I will show you how to add an information portlet to your dashboard page. Then you can configure it for charting and other features. I'll also show you how the information portlet automatically updates as you navigate from element to element through your elements or service model hierarchy. I am logged into the Operations Center dashboard and I have already added a navigation portlet to my page. Let's now add an information portlet. To do this, you go to Add Application, and under Operations Center, you will see all of our portlets, and now you can drag and drop your information portlet to your page. Now let's navigate to another element to see more information. Once I select an element within my navigation portlet, my information portlet will automatically refresh. Here you can see all of the properties associated with this element. In this case, I chose an element from the NetIQ App Manager integration. So I also have this Custom Properties tab. This is only available for App Manager elements and will be available starting in Operation Center version 5.6. You can also edit these properties. Now let's switch to the Alarms tab. Under here you have an alarm summary that shows this graphical view as well as the alarms listing. Once I click into this, it will automatically filter the alarms for me and only show me my critical alarms. I can also sort and change my columns from here and do more filtering. Let's say I just want to filter on Windows in my message. From this tab, I can also act on an alarm by acknowledging adding comments. And if I double click on the alarm, I will see the alarm details. Now since this is an App Manager alarm, I have more tabs than I would for an other element. Now let's switch to the Layout tab. This tab will show you a customized drawing view for your element. Within the Network tab, you will now see a network hierarchy drawing for your element. You can change the depth, you can also filter so you will only see elements of a certain condition. I can also view root cause data and see what services are impacted by my element. Since this is an App Manager server, I can also switch to the Jobs tab. This is only available for App Manager elements. From in here, I can start or stop a job, and I can also view job details to gather more information. Now let's switch to the Charts tab. You will see all of the available metrics that you can chart. Once I select Chart, I will now see my charted data. I can switch time periods, I can drill in, and I can analyze this data. Now let's take a look at the Edit Side Preferences. From within here, I can do many things to customize the view of my information portlet. I can turn off tabs. I can change which alarms view I want to have as my default. I can also go down to this Charts tab, and I can change the default time range, as well as adding a regular expression for the metrics that I want to have charted. Once I save this, I can go back to my charts view. Now my charts will automatically refresh. 
so I can drill down to other elements and quickly see the charts that I want to see. This video has been useful. For more information on the information portlet, please see the Operations Center dashboard guide on the NetIQ documentation website.